Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami. Last time, we... We, uh... <laughs> we... Started... Doing something. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it is. Um... I'm going to turn my headset down a bit. I think I'm trying to keep it... I'm, I'm trying to work something out here with my headset because I finally figured out how to get the game audio to come out of my headset, and that sounds kind of crazy, right? Well, uh, I'm trying to get it so you might not hear it in the background. So uh, if you hear a little bit of background music that might be off-key, if I don't, um, like, put the audio in correctly or something, I mean, not off-key, but not on course or whatever, not lined up with all the other sounds, That'll be because of the, uh, the, uh, the fact that I'm, it might be being picked up by my microphone as it plays through the earphones. But anyway, what we, uh, what we did last time, we, I honestly can't remember what we did because it's, I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks, but I know what I want to do now. By the way, I'll, I'm going to be telling you about my vacation and all that good stuff. But right now, I want to go... Because, uh... Well, you know last episode how I said how, uh... We might go to the Ark of Yamato this episode? I'm sorry, guys. There are a couple things I want to do first. Um, that... That... We won't make it to the Ark of Yamato for a bit, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I have I just have a couple things I want to wrap up. First, I think we should go back to a place known as Kusa Village. I'm pretty sure we can do something there now. Something interesting. Something very, very interesting. Remember those dogs? Remember those dogs? The, uh... The warriors. The, the Kusa Village warriors. Or something like that. Well, those dogs, they all joined up together again, I believe. Well, not the ones that are with their human owners, that left for their human owners. But, uh, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. When we, I'll tell you what I'm talking about when we get up there. We need to get over to the Gale Shrine, actually. Remember that place where we went and fought Crimson Helm all, all that time ago, back in the good old days? Even though it's still the good old days today. <laughs> Back in the days where I used a camera instead of a uh, instead of a capture card, mm, I remember those days. Those were like classic movies back then. Not really, but like nowadays, those old, those first few episodes of Let's Play Okami, those are like those are classics to me. Ah, uh, I mean, I those were the those were the beginning of this wonderful. Let's play experience of this wonderful let's playing thing I'm doing. I love let's playing. It's it's great fun. I'm so glad I started. Oh my gosh. With the headset on and with the music playing through my headset, this music is even creepier than it already was. Oh my gosh, I can hear like all the creepy notes. Ooh. It's creepy. Ooh, but it skips every once in a while. I wonder why. Huh, it might just not be getting all the way through. Or, like, I'm having some lag issues or something, I don't know. But, ah, here we are. These are the, uh, the dogs. <laughs> hey, Princess Fu- Hey, Princess Fuse, how's it going? Are those five canine warriors falling in line? They look awfully bored. You sure they're even awake? Why, it's the white wolf and little bug. How nice of you to return the, to the Gale Shrine. I've been waiting for you. You have? I have trained the remaining canine warriors, introducing the new Satomi canine warriors, the Kusa Five. Rain, and sh rain or shine, they shall battle monsters and all their evil. Is the Kusa Five like the Jackson Five? Is, are they a new band? The Jackson Five had some good songs. Love Michael Jackson music. Here in Taka Pass, none can match their power. Please, test the power of the Kusa 5 for yourself. Huh? 
Pretty please? It would be an honor to have the bane of Crimson Helm and Orochi battle against the Kusa 5. <laughs> well, if you put it that way. But first, there's something that I must mention. The Kusa 5 is a tough, battle-hardened group. They won't hold back once the match begins. Once their honor is on the line in a fierce battle, I would not be surprised if one of you fell in battle. The Kusa 5 is at least 10 times more powerful than Orochi. This will be a life or death struggle. You must prepare to face a battle unlike you've ever seen before. Will you accept the challenge? Yeah. That's a dumb question. You really think this stubborn wolf would back down? Right, Amy? We gonna do this deathmatch or what? Fight the Kusa 5? Bring it or I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know how to react because I don't think I've ever really done this fight. I might have done it once, but I can't remember it well. Excellent! Oh faithful canine warriors, members of the Kusa 5, prepare to face the invincible white wolf and the little bug. You just said I might fall in battle. How does that make me invincible? Thank you for the compliment, though. That's rather kind. Let's make it a fair and clean fight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the canine warriors. I hear this fight is incredibly difficult. Oh my gosh, the music's like surround sound. And while I'm concentrating on the music, I'm getting my... Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I'm showing this... Have, do you see my health bar? Oh my gosh, they're kicking my butt. Um, exorcism slip, even though you're not a... Oh my gosh, look at the di damage that I didn't do. <laughs> I, like, all the... Like, it barely affected these guys. Have a cherry bomb, you weenies. Take that. Hopefully they don't poop on me. <laughs> do you rem remember him, Poop Dog? He was rude. Oh my gosh, though, this fight is... This fight's crazy. I've never done this... I don't think I've ever done this fight before. Maybe once. But this is definitely an experience. <laughs> I am sure of that. Oh my gosh, they're kicking my butt. Oh, wow. This this is definitely an experience. You Eat my shotgun blasts. You dirty scum. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah. Don't kill me, please. Oh, wow. This fight. I don't think I've ever done this before. Wow. Well, instead of acting exclaimed and saying wow the entire time, I'm going to tell a story. Um, man, it's hard to hear my voice with the, like, the surround sound in my headphones. <laughs> this music's, like, the battle drums and all that. Oh, it's great music. da 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 I think I wasn't even on the song there. <laughs> uh. But anyway, yeah, my vacation. We should talk about that while we're battling the fierce canine warriors. So this is the the uh, the Kusa Five, or something like that. Did I kill one? I th no, I think they're all still perfectly alive. I'm gonna exercise you guys again. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, my vacation. I went to Europe for two weeks. Isn't that interesting? Yes, um, I spent time in London, in France, and um, Edinburgh, Scotland. It was very, very fun. Um, by the way, the place I stayed in in France was Paris. Like, I said city names for everything else, like, but I, I said France. I didn't tell you the city I stayed in. But uh, yeah, I stayed in London, England, Paris, France, and Edinburgh, Scotland. It was it was a lot of fun. There was so much stuff we did. We uh we went to see the military tattoo in Edinburgh, and we went and saw all the sights in London and in Paris. We went. I went to the Louvre in Paris, and I saw the Mona Lisa. I I feel I feel content with myself now. I've seen the Mona Lisa. I mean, that's pretty groovy. That's the very famous painting. It was in like. Yeah, it was. That's a very famous painting. If I, if you don't know what the Mona Lisa is, it's a picture of a uh, a woman that I believe Leonardo da Vinci painted, and it's a very very pretty painting. I ha I very much appreciate art, and 
Wow, I'm surprised I didn't do worse. And <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't do any worse. And what? What? More fighting? No! What are you doing? More canine warriors? Oh my- Oh, oh no. He pooped. These are the three that uh, went off with their human masters. I didn't think they'd come back for a fight. And Mr. Poopy Crap Dog's back. Mr. Poopy Crap Dog. But anyway, yeah. I very much enjoy art, and I, I feel very good that I saw the Mona Lisa. I feel very happy. But other than seeing the Mona Lisa, I did a lot of other things when I was in London and uh, over in Europe. As I said, I, I went about London, saw the sights, we went and saw Big Ben, and we went to various museums. And uh, I rode on the London Eye. That was cool. That was an experience. I really liked that. And, um, ah, stop pooping everywhere. My gosh, dog. <sighs> My gosh, why? Go to the bathroom. I mean, find a bathroom, please. <laughs> I mean, even though not a lot of dogs are potty trained. <laughs> to go to the bathroom, taking their, uh, taking their children to the pool, singing a song, I mean. Don't need to talk about that, though, that's gross. Uh, wow, I can barely, I can barely hear myself through this, uh, the surround sound in my mic, that's cool. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Minor interruption. But we'll get back to the fighting now. Fighting these dogs. Sorry about that. Anyway. What was I talking about? My, vac my vacation. Yes, my vacation. Um, oh my gosh, you dogs. These dogs are crazy. My dog is much nicer than you dogs. Why can't you just be more polite? It's rude of you to do the things you're doing. Anyway, I, uh, what I, what I do, I told you what I did in Paris, I went to the Louvre, I, I did other things in Paris, I saw various landmarks and other famous things, went up the Eiffel Tower, that was cool, I really like going up the, well, when you make it to the very top, I, I have a slight fear of heights, so, it was kind of crazy, I don't know how I went up the London Eye without a fear of heights, which that takes you up very high above the city, and then, like, have a fear of heights when I go up the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> which happened, like, after I went up, like, like, a couple days after I went up the London Eye, and I fell in the hole. That's great. And, oh, wow, you guys. You guys have been trained to fight me. I think I might just continue until I, uh, I finish this fight here. And I, when did I run out of ink? Oh, yeah, one of their attacks does something that takes out away your ink, I think. Maybe. You're not tube foxes, are you? You're not sapping my ink as we fight, correct? That would be horrible. Tube foxes, those guys are freaks. <laughs> Evil little freaks. But they're cool because they're foxes. And I like, I like foxes, if you didn't know that already. And wow, I've almost defeated these guys. Take this, sir. Which one of you is almost dead? Okay. Okay, don't kill me. Even though I think I have full astral pouches, I don't want to die. I haven't died yet once in this game, I believe. I don't think I've died once in this entire LP, and that would be nice to go through the entire LP without dying once. And ah, we beat you guys. I, I think I might play for a couple more minutes, and yes, I can agree that I did pretty bad there. <laughs> mm. And yes, this is a third fight? Oh no. It's you, eye patch dog. Your oh, he returns. I believe this should. I, if this is, I mean, they're putting us up against one. And look at how much damage I'm doing against this guy. Isn't he that wonderful? Oh, he's kicking my butt. Wow. Come here. Take this. Okay. <laughs> I know using exorcism. Oh, I don't have any exorcism slips to use. That's not good. I'm gonna wail on you with Infinity Stones then. Get over here. 
<laughs> oh, I get ready for some owning. Ha ha! I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna wail on this guy. <laughs> Eat my cherry bombs, you jerkwad. Uh, where are you? I'm gonna shock you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see you jumping. Oh, I missed. That's even greater. Isn't that shocking? Ha ha ha. Anyway, other things I did on vacation. Um, I have plenty of funny stories to tell that I'll probably tell later when I'm less distracted by this evil dog that's doing so much damage on me. Wow. Get over here, dude. <laughs> um, I th actually, I think I'll continue the episode until I beat this guy. Don't kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was close. We're vengeance slip, please. A uh, karmic backlash would be nice. You're gonna get, get a taste of your own medicine, sir. That's what... You might get to see what vengeance slips do if I haven't used one already. I think I might have used one when I fought the other uh, spider queen, but I can't necessarily remember. Get over here, dude. Karmic backlash. Attack me! Dude! <laughs> Eat my vengeance slip! I'm fighting you. This is... This is a hard fight, guys. I don't think I've ever done this fight before. And wow, it's crazy. <laughs> he did three... Solar energies of damage. Three. That's a lot. <laughs> that is... A lot of damage. Stop it, dude. I can't remember your name. I think you're Ray. Are you Ray? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Can you stop owning me? I am not a item. You don't... I... Oh my... I just used a large holy bone. Sir, let me use a god... A godly charm. Excuse me. My godhood's highest level. It's slowly going to go down, though, as this guy owns me. Ah, uh, let's just do some damage on him already. I want to fight this boss. Oh wow, this is crazy. This boss is... I can see how he'd be ten... Like, this. these fights would be ten times harder than Orochi. <laughs> Orochi was tough. This is, like, much tougher than Orochi, I believe. I think Orochi might have... No, I don't think Orochi took as long as the Canine Warrior fights. I mean, Orochi was a long fight. I think it took two videos one time, but this video is going to be extra long because I'm going to take my time until I defeat this guy. Don't kick dirt in my face, dude. <laughs> That's rude. Oh my gosh. This fight. Oh, oh gosh. Give me a holy bone. Give me a holy bone. Increase my godhood to the maximum possible level. I hope I don't have... Do I have any, like, Steel Fist Sockies that I could drink? <laughs> I don't, really. I think I might have sold all of them, because I barely ever use them. Ugh. Dude. You're almost dead. Just... Just die. Get out of my face. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry I keep saying, oh my gosh, this isn't very, like, crazy commentary. But this fight, if you see what this guy's doing, like, he was not nearly this hard the first time. But, um... This is a long fight. I mean, on a canine warrior. These guys were never this hard. This is crazy. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think it's as hard as the Devilgate Trials, but, um, it's crazy. By the way, guys, um, I wanted to ask you, would you like to see me completely finish the Devilgate Trials? Because, that, I mean, leave, leave your answer in the comments, I mean, if you want me to do the Devilgate Trials, just just tell me, because, um, I mean, if you guys really want me to do those Devilgate Trials, uh, sure, I'll do them for you at the end of this Let's Play. I I'd love to do those Devilgate Trials for you, so if you want to see me do the Devilgate Trials at the, end the let's at the end of the Let's Play, after the final boss has been defeated, like, I'll go back onto my save file and do the Devilgate Trials for you, so if you want me to see... If you want to see me do the Devilgate Trials, in the comments section, 
say something along the lines of, I want to see you do the Devil Gate Trials. If you don't, say something along the lines of, no, I don't want to see you do the Devil Gate Trials. That would be nice to know, because I'd love to do those for you. I mean, I'd love- I mean, if you guys want to see those, sure, I'll do them. And, oh, Ray, are you dead? I think you're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. That was hard. The end. For him. So, I'm gonna say something to you guys. After this, uh... Okay. As Princess Fuse says, ENOUGH! I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Okami. Bye, guys.